Oh, what does he do here? He's got the red available, obviously, but I mean, play on the brown, and he could still win. But I don't know. Can't afford to keep playing on low-value colours. Well, might be a shot to knock blue and pink out here. Might be what he was hoping for. It's gone a bit too far. Oh. The yellow is uh, well, it's the last resort. do it ever so well to take three reds and blacks with the remaining reds where they are. Three. Four. Well, I suppose if anyone can with his positional skills, Ding can, but you're right. Herculean task. Yes, it's the one down beyond bulk and behind the brown that's the real difficult one. He might be able to do something with the one up the table from this next shot. <coughs> oh, that's a great effort. That is an absolute natural. <laughs> Interesting way of getting on the red. Needs an angle 12. on the black. Does not want to be straight here. He's got it. Snooker throws up some unusual situations, but this is one. Very rarely would see a player trying to get on the black from the last red from where it's placed. with the shot, but I'd be amazed if he's got a good angle here. <coughs> Probably anywhere but there. So, 34 points adrift, 35 on the table. The only colour he can pot to win the frame out right is the black. Yeah, there's a chance he might not even go for this. Well, he's really trying to use power. What a shot. What a shot that is. Magnificent. It was almost straight. And he pumped it around there with stun. And Laurie loads the right-hand side. If you're looking in a snooker textbook for the terminology manufacturing an angle, that was the shot. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing playing the shot, but maintaining your accuracy of, of the pot is a difficult thing, Phil. Anyone can try it. Put all that side on. Twenty the ball will finish. Now, even if he can't clear here, could pot yellow, green and brown and lay a really tough snooker on the blue and behind the pink. He could, but I'll tell you what he'd love to do, get a nice angle on either green or brown to develop those two, but you're absolutely right, that is another possibility. Uh, well, short of pace if he plays the cut and we're playing with right hand check side he doesn't want the cue ball to travel too far away from the brown oh. 
Thank you. Again, I don't like his angle very much. If he'd have been balls width short of where he is now, he may have had a lovely shot. Is he looking at the double here? Goodness me. Thirty-six. Well, I'm amazed. This would be another remarkable shot because he's probably going to push the pink out as well. They could, of course, play safe and put the blue onto the pink here. Oh, what an amazing shot that is. If he clears up here, well, it's on one of the great clearances I've ever seen. Could not agree more. At all, he's got awkward queuing on the shot. It's there. Oh, Unbelievable, Phil. Daylight robbery. Four. Absolute Three. ding brilliance. Neil's right, that's one of the greatest clearances you are ever likely to see.